we were fighting the undead on uh, this uh, very lovely deserty island and we made a white mage so uh, get out your holy water and let's play battle for Wesnov. Now a thing I might want to add here is that it's currently about uh, let me check the time three in the morning um, I can't sleep basically so I decided to uh, mess up the controls here Okay, I played Battle Realms for a while and uh, I'm totally used to, to right clicking to send troops around. I just did it again. <laughs> I gotta get back into left clicking. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Okay, you just stay there, I guess. So we almost have this lich down. I don't think I can kill both before the time runs out. Okay, you go there, you go there. I think they have very low defense. Yeah, okay, we can try this. The thing about creatures in swamps is that they have like ridiculously low um, defense ratings, so they, they can't really. You can't take cover in a, in a swamp. Uh, that's actually pretty accurate, I suppose. I, I've never been to a swamp to uh, in my life. Uh, so I really can't uh, say for sure that this is a proper representation of how it feels to be stuck in a swamp and, uh, and how well you dodge things while you're stuck in swamps. Oh. It's just an experience I can't relate to. Uh, however, it's... Um, I suppose that's fine. Just live with the, <laughs> live with the rules here. Uh, speaking of Battle Realms, I um, got it for free on GOG like two days ago, I think. Uh, it's a game I played back in the days and I greatly enjoyed, although it's one of those games I never finished. And I might actually do that once the um, once I get a free slot. I, I had a pretty devastating week, so I didn't get to play as much as I would have liked to. Okay, you can't attack that, which really sucks. Um, we'll kill this guy off. I said we'll kill this guy off. This might actually be a poor idea to go with this one, but no. Okay, so this uh, unit will get uh, promoted. And now I really need to uh, take care of some... I really need to, to keep the pressure on this uh, lich. And to grill that guy. Because if he recovers, he might kill my white mage. And I want to take out at least one of those guys before the uh, time runs out and I win this level if memory serves. Okay, shoot this. Keep shooting it. There we go. You run back. And you beat this guy. It's it's our greatest weakness a uh, weakness that these fellows can't go into melee. Although they have a very devastating uh, range attack and once they upgrade they are just a royal pain in the ass, so it's really for the best to uh, to give them such a great weakness when they start out. All right, I just uh, forgot you can check the current local time over here in this uh, little corner. I hope the uh, game is recording the mouse. I would hope it is. <coughs> okay. So I hope we can wrap this scenario up in this round. The downside of not being or likely not being able to um, beat both the uh, undead leaders is that I will probably. Oh, damn it. Uh, I will probably not be able to uh, take this white mage with me. I think that's pretty much what he, what you get for beating the level or for beating both leaders in time. Uh, you get the ability to take the white mage with you. I'm actually tempted to go with that because five three, yeah, that's a better option. 
Okay, we actually hit him. That's good because I think he will retreat next, or he he will go back to the village next turn, which allows us to uh, keep attacking him, and and it allows us to preserve our white mage. I'm not sure how well he's going to do that. Uh, he could attack, but that's risky because then he would risk his leader. Because the, the Holy Light attack is very strong against Undead. And two hits are very likely to happen. I'm saying very likely because I know the game has a tendency to screw me over. I don't know if there's anything to get in those other temples. I just suppose there is and I'll, I'll go check in a moment. First I'm trying to take out this ghost. Give Conrad here some, some experience. He needs it. We'll go with the range attack first because I don't want this guy to uh, keep regener regenerating health. If I if I went in with my um, <coughs> with this uh, thug, the ghost could have hit him. Okay, I hope the white mage makes it uh, past this round. And uh, he would basically recover him. Uh, he would have recovered some health and wouldn't have gone down. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> Should probably stop forgetting about that. Okay, he's running and he's trying to kill those. That's also not, not exceptionally smart. We'll take care of the leader now. If I go like that... Aha! There we go. So let's sort of that out. You go next to this. I suppose I can... I can either attack or just leave it there. I think I'll just leave him there. No, I, I'll go here. Yeah, that works. So the white mage gets healed in the village, heals this guy as he stands there. Uh, next turn we will take over one of uh, that village and now I can focus on the other temple thing. Oops. Okay, looks like there's some... Uh, oh. Surprise! Searching for Magi, and all I get is these foul humans. Well, shit. I think that was one of the uh, less pleasant surprises that lurk in those temples. It's usually still worth looking into them. Let's just see what's in this one. This temple seems to be empty. Well, screw that. I suppose you would have wanted me to look into that anyway, so uh, I did it for you. Probably doomed at least one of my guys, but who cares. And they're all somewhat expendable, I guess. Conrad, go to that village. Conrad is the last person we want to lose, because you, sh you should still know that this would mean we'd lose the entire level. Yeah, this, this, mer uh, this mermaid is also pretty much screwed. I can't do anything for her. Because, well, I don't have any troops nearby that could be of use there. But we got down one of the undead leaders, so that's definitely something I consider a positive thing. Yeah, this guy might make it to the next village. No, he won't. Actually, he might. I could give it a. I could give it a shot. I'm not probably. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a shot, but it's very unlikely he'll survive that. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Let's go with a mace. We have troops to back this one up, so... Uh, light beam. 
I don't need that village. I need to save my troops, so you but actually no. I can't save this one, so I'll prevent him at least from uh, becoming a corpse. Well, a walking corpse. He will die. But uh, do remember that units in villages don't turn into walking corpses when they uh, get killed. So this will at least allow me to not add another enemy to my ra uh, to the enemy's ranks. It would have been helpful if you hit that. Uh. The downside of those thugs is they have a lot of attack power, but they also have very, very little in terms of defense. So, if the enemy has a lot of attack power as well, that's pretty much it for you. Don't want to risk my loyal merman fighters, but I don't seem to. Have, no, I I won't risk them here. Do we have any underwater villages? No, of course not. Well, screw this. I'll just have to keep them uh, there. Because I can't really defend this village. That's out of the question. I can't defend that. It's it's 40% defense against... Uh, well, okay, 60. I'll go with 60. That's the uh, better option. You go there. And I hope he attacks us from an you go there, and then he should attack us from an angle that we can, uh, that both of those guys can target. Don't die on me, Conrad. Don't die on me. Don't do it. Don't. Okay, kill. You can kill as much as you want, but don't die on me. This is why he takes... Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, let's go back to round 24. We had a good run. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, this is where he takes a bunch of hits and just drops dead, and he did. I almost thought I had it there, but no, I did not. Oh, how I did not. Okay, I think I'm going. I'm gonna keep you attacking that. And of course, you completely fail to do that. Let's see, is Conrad. No, he can't defend better there either. Mm. How am I gonna do that? I think I'm gonna stay here. Send this guy over there. Yeah, I'll send this guy over there and hope he makes it through the round. I'm gonna try this and it fails and I'm gonna try that. Oops, don't go profile. I don't want that. Didn't want to see that. I wanted to do this. You are such a failure. I don't want to go with the. I don't want to risk getting uh, hit with that bow too often because I don't want to lose those troops. They might become useful later on. Actually, they will become useful later on because I should be able to recall them. Okay, two more rounds. We can sit this out. Well, you there can't. Damn, he was so close to upgrading. Well, that's pretty much how Wesnut goes. Uh, when a unit is almost ready to upgrade, they will usually have quite a few battles under their belt. How do you have those under your belt anyway? And you really can't uh, do that much. Although they will, of course, generally be low on health. Assuming you didn't just recall them. And you might have a good chance to actually keep them alive. Now I actually want that mage to go back into a village. Actually, no, I don't. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I told you about this uh, strategy. I usually have at least a few healers and I try to, to keep them centered in any formation. So, uh, like, er the healer's speed 
determines how far the rest of the squad moves. That's how I do it. It usually works well because your healers will be protected and your remaining squad will have uh, the ability to heal. Aside of that, you also generally end up with one side. Like uh, that's That would be the ideal formation. You have a healer surrounded by six units and you usually have like maybe this is your uh, side facing the enemy and this side is well facing nothing so this side is pretty protected and you can use this and just keep your own troops here or your badly injured troops here and allow them to recuperate a bit more efficiently because they can just skip their turns okay Yeah, we did. We totally didn't need that. I forgot to do uh, to move my merman. Let's try to fix that, and let's see if we can make it past this round. Gonna be tough. This guy was totally screwed. I wish Conrad had healing skills. I'm also gonna... Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this uh, scenario in the video. So, uh, because technically the time for this video is up. But I do want to finish this. And I don't see a need to put like the next few rounds into the uh, into a new video. So, we'll keep that. If this hits, well if it had hit, And that's why you have four attacks. Uh, if it had hit, we could have actually achieved quite a, f quite a lot from that. Okay, you can safely attack this. Totally safe, no harm was done to any side. Not quite what I meant with safely, but uh, you, I guess you get what you deserve. Well, I suppose I don't. Anyway. I'm gonna try to see if I survive this. I suppose I could move Conrad back a bit, but I do want to keep him kind of in the fray so he gets some more experience. Okay, and we can try to get this uh, ghost now. This is Wraith. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. Gotta kill it! Yes! We got it! Okay, you wait there, although we do seem to be getting a lot of... Uh, I'm going to save this here. Uh, we seem to be getting a lot of company in the next round, although I suppose they will focus on the uh, thug first. That's my big hope. I hope they focus the thug first, and I hope the thug can actually take out one or two of them. Well, that works as well. They can also focus on that guy. Although that didn't quite work as I was hoping. Okay, why weren't you attacking? That didn't make sense. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness we have found you, sir. Come aboard quickly. We shall take you away t from this horrible island. It's a shame complete victory could not be ours. But thank goodness I am rescued. On to Elenzafar. That's where, that's where we are going. All right. Uh, thank you for your assistance here, brothers. I will stay to continue resisting the foul undead. May fate be with you on your noble quest, and may we meet again someday. Ah, uh, yeah. As I said, this guy would have come with you if we had managed to kill both the uh, liches in the time limit. I mean, we could just finish this up here, but no, the quest says we need to move on. Uh, you get, regain your lost troops and 116 gold. Woohoo! That was totally worth it. Okay, so we'll get this on top of the uh, defined starting gold. I think that's what we earned in the, in the previous level as well, because we got that for... Or did we get it in this level? I don't know. 
end the scenario, I think we also lose access to uh, recruiting those criminals. So those criminals we had left are pretty much all we have. Or, well, not all we have, but all we can recall. Let's see that. Okay, so we hit a lens of R now. Are we? Uh. Okay, the party arrived at Elenzafar at last, but found that the city had already fallen to the savage orcs. My lord, it seems the city has already fallen. This is terrible news. We must retake the city. We have to. There are so many of them. It will. Uh, this will not be easy. And look to the north. It seems that the undead are al allied with the orcs. Now I wish I had brought this white mage, or I hadn't lost the... Uh, why are you lagging all of a sudden? Uh, or I wish I hadn't lost the other guys. Muf Jana... Jana... Okay. Here come the elves! Our newly forged alliance with the orcs will give us the power to crush them with ease! We must take the city and destroy the evil undead before reinforcements arrive. Why can't we do it when reinforcements have arrived? Oh, oh, their reinforcements. I get it now. I thought my reinforcements, but I don't. Th I don't think I'll get any reinforcements. Okay, so we have a few rounds here. We still have this guy, and we do have to end the video here. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.